Just wanted to review the NASDAQ, and it's uh, been selling off since it made this high here of 16212 on November 22nd, 2021, right before Thanksgiving. And it's been selling off, like I said, for nearly a year. And so uh, those who are looking for capitulation selling, I'm not sure you're going to get it because it's been capitulation selling for a year. Uh, this is turning into one of the uh, epic bear markets. And last week it was down uh, 5.65% after the Fed spoke once again, and it was very hawkish. I'm looking at a monthly chart here, and uh, I believe this thing could come back to the uh, pre-COVID levels here, but uh, 9,838, that would make sense to me, but the market rarely makes sense. So uh, we'll see what happens with the NASDAQ. Um, it's going down because its leaders are finally getting shot here. The, uh, the acceleration to the downside is being led by these mega cap tech stocks. And you can see Apple's in a clear downtrend down from 182 to 138. Uh, Google is another one that's uh, leading it to the downside. Google uh, traded below 100. And since it got uh, tried to get back above that level, it got rejected at its 50 and just has been in a downturn ever since. Now it's $14 below the 100 level. So you can see it kind of hung around there, hung around that uh, large round 100 number, and then it uh, got rejected at the 50. So um, Amazon is another one of the cohort that's just driving these big mega cap tech stocks. You know, this one's uh, below a trillion now, only 926 billion. But you could see this heavy selling here, the heavy uh, red, uh, pink volume bars. And this one didn't even make it up to the 50, and it's just been accelerating to the downside. But once these generals have been taken out and shot, um, I think it's healthy for the market. Uh, maybe the NASDAQ will stop going down once these things you know, are finally uh, being taken out and being shot. Here's uh, Microsoft. You can see the acceleration to the downside recently. I should go to the weekly and show that this is 36% 30, off its high. Uh, Tesla is another one. It's 50% off of its high. Look at the daily. It's actually holding up better than most. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that. It's 50% off its high. I mean, that's not good. Um, Apple, Amazon, Google. Oh, yeah. And the King Meta, the Mark Zuckerberg stock, this thing, nobody wants to buy it. There's just no buyers here. And they're selling it. You know, gosh, it was 300 and something recently. I mean, not, not long ago. Yeah. 350, 360, maybe even got up to 380, I believe, before the index topped. Yeah, it, it topped before the NASDAQ did and started coming down. So it was it's definitely a leader to the downside. Look at all these pink volume bars on Meta, and it's 74% off of its high. So um, CRM is another one. It doesn't trade on the NASDAQ. It's a Dow Jones stock, though. Apple, Microsoft, and CRM are three... Uh, stocks that are weighing heavily on the Dow and of course the S&P and this thing has accelerated to the downside as well and you can see the big pink volume bar on Friday after the disaster du jour it was uh, Twilio and Team and it was just a real bad uh, day for the software stocks on Friday and uh, CRM is not helping the uh, Dow at 55% off of its high a uh, couple things that I wanted to point out, though, is NVIDIA. It stopped going down. You can see the last three weeks, it's up. It hit a low of 108, and now it's trading at 141. So the last three weeks, albeit on uh, lower volume, and some people might think that would be a uh, kind of a bear wedge as it uh, tries to wedge higher <clears throat> and lighter volume. So um, be careful there. And AMD, same thing, uh, off of its low up three weeks in a row, uh, 54, 57 was its low and it's at 62. So um, but once again, though, it's going up on, uh, you know, not ideal volume and that could be just like a bear wedge before it gets hammered again. Um, I wanna take a look at some random stocks though that are doing well. I mean, it's not all oil and gas. There are other areas that are doing well. Biotech is one area. Here's Gilead. You can see this gap up and it's holding its gains. And if you take a look at the weekly, you can see this nice long consolidation. So Gilead's definitely one stock that's on my radar. Uh, PCVX, they went up on a, a phase two uh, successful trial. You can see massive volume here. And, 
It's doing more than just holding its gains. This thing's appreciating. Uh, TMDX is another one gapped higher on Friday. So that should definitely be on your radar. It's on mine. Intuitive Surgical uh, gapped after earnings and then gapped again when they announced a stock buyback hovering around the 200 there. But you could see the big blue uh, volume bars institutions are buying this stock. Um, Elf is another one. Uh, making all-time high, so that should have your attention with volume. I believe that's an earnings breakup. So uh, you got to watch for these. ROL, I have this on my list for some reason. Um, gap higher, holding its gains, building maintenance service. Those things are in vogue right now. Wing, gap higher, and then kind of pull back a little bit. So uh, we'll keep our eye on that one. Uh, retail, I'm, I'm a big retail bug. Uh, SMCI, uh, Gap Tire, they, they've had phenomenal uh, earnings and, and raised guidance, and it's just holding its gains, doing nothing wrong there. Sanmina, they report this week, I forget what day, but Yuri would be on the call. This thing is already broken out. We'll see, uh, yeah, um, tomorrow, uh, November 7th, Sanmina. And the last one I want to look at is Mod. This one broke out. It's on our watch list here and this one gap tire. So you definitely want to pay attention to those stocks gapping higher and showing strength in this weak tape in this epic bear market uh, we, at mcstockcharts.com. We never give up and you should neither. Uh, take care now. Thanks for watching.